I know you're all expecting to uh, see the video of uh, Katy Perry, E.T. But she's not here. But she's not here, but we're going to break down the song and we're going to say what we think the song is and what it means. Because it's gonna, very weird when you think about it. And I'm going to start reading it. E.T. Okay. lyrics. Okay. <clears throat> you're so hypnotizing. Could you be the devil? Could you be an angel? Your touch magnetizing feels like floating leaving my body glowing okay but now what 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 could this mean it's asking if you're a devil could you be an angel are you good or evil but why would she be asking for a devil or angel that's a song yeah i know but i know but it's a song but every song has a meaning right that's right so what's the meaning of that part there's something definitely going on in here something like some kind of alien sexual being what are we expecting to see this a devil coming down uh, exactly, because it goes... As aliens, maybe. But we know what it could be. And it's just leaving the body, so that it's as if it's some kind of, like, astral travel, something like that. But I'm not too sure about it. But, uh, I mean, floating, leaving my body glowing, that's like when you leave your body. Or could it be that we're going to space? Yeah. Very mind-modeling. It is. Okay, what's the next paragraph? They say, be afraid. You're not like the others. Fus futuristic lovers, different DNA. They don't understand you. Are you done with that? I'm done. DNA. They mess with DNA. Aliens can mess and can play around with DNA, tamper with And they did. DNA. They, they did, did back in biblical times. The and nephilim, they do it again. something known as the nephiliums. Exactly. To make they, everything perfect. Exactly, exactly, so that we don't die. But we're in perfection anyhow, because it got mixed. Everything got mixed together. They want to make the hybrids. Genes. That's what they're doing. They're working on hybrids out there. But this is what they're saying. Now, here we go again. You're from a whole other, another world, a different dimension. You open my eyes, and I'm ready to go. Lead me into the light. I know what this means, that they're going to come and try and take us away to their planet it's or a, wherever they go. It's dimensional beings, like UFOs, that's what they call it. Yeah, but UFOs go into different dimensions. That's what I'm saying, exactly. I don't know, I don't know, this is a very weird song. And then, kiss me, k k kiss me, infect me with your love and fill me with your poison. Deception, that's deception right there. Beyond deception. Want to be your victim, ready for abduction? Well, UFOs being abducted. Uh, there's always abduction. That's what they say in the States. Boy, you're an alien. You're touched so far away. It's supernatural, extraterrestrial. Right here, extraterrestrial, ladies and gentlemen. Supernatural means that they're, they're going to come down, these aliens, and be super, like, supermen. We're going to probably want to worship them because they're so big and powerful. And don't forget, it's infected with your love, through your poison, so there's something sexual going on in, over here. You know, something... They're something probably going to mix the, the DNA together. The genes, yeah. And they're going to poison us and we're going to die, but we're going to think that we're going to live longer. Next. That makes sense. You're supersonic. Want to feel your powers. S stump me with your lasers. Your kiss is cosmic. Every move is magic. Me I know what that means. And in the end, like at first we're going to think that they're the best, that they're the greatest, but at the end they're going to poison us, they're going to kill us. It also means that they're very great right now. They make this person feel great with their powers. They have lasers, the lights, the eyes, the kisses cosmic. It's something supernatural. Here we go again. You're from a whole another world, a different dimension. You open my eyes, I'm ready to go, lead me into the light. And lead me into the light means something of sa Satan, Lucifer. Yeah, He's the lead of the, into the light. Never looked at it that way. Yeah. So that's again more deception. It is. I mean, it's starting to add up this song. And this, and mind you, she's telling this. The kids are listening to this. They're brainwashed. They think this is normal now. Like this generation will see this. It's like it's like they're expecting it. If this, if the aliens come down right now, it won't bother anybody. When you think about it, because they're, they're being fed this. They're being preconditioned for this when this stuff starts happening, when they, when they come down from the earth. Okay, what's the next paragraph? This is the transcendental on another level. Boy, you're my lucky star. I want to walk on your wavelength and be there when you vibrate. For you, I risk it all. So basically, in the video, we do see her 
they did play around with her uh, DNA because if you look at what she is, what what is she at the end? A deer, deer leg? A fawn. Uh, a fawn. Yeah. So they did mess with her but DNA. Before that, she was an alien. Because you saw the eyes and the long fingernails, some kind of hybrid, half human, half female, half alien. What is this video trying to tell us? How come nobody notices it? How come? Nobody does. Because nobody cares. You know, another thing you were telling me, what about her wrist? Yeah, she has Jesus Christ written on one of her wrists. I don't really? remember yeah. which one. Okay. You'll probably see it soon. Why would she be implying that she's Christian when she's talking about aliens, when they're not supposed to be good? The greys are supposed to be bad. And a Pentecostal, right? Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Why would she do, do that? Money? It's like... Then again, don't be deceived because a lot of people will come in the name of Christ. Yeah, exactly. False so. prophets, don't buy into that. No, no, not at all. She might be a good person, but I'm not saying We don't that. know, we don't know, that's we all. We don't know. You don't know what... We're analyzing the song, not the person. Exactly. No, but people, do your homework. There's something about this video. I'd like to know who the, who the, who the writer is and meet him and see what, what he knows, why he wrote this. There's a lot more to this song. So if you, if you, if you get a chance to see, the song from Katy Perry, E.T. E